Hey guys, it's Ben here with Full Effects, and uh, today I have a tutorial video for you. I don't do many of these, but I'm thinking of starting a new series. If you do want me to do more tutorials, just let me know in the comments below, and I will be uh, happy to do them, really. Uh, so, yeah, lots of you requested uh, the weed tutorial, so it got quite a lot of likes, and I thought, why not do it? So, uh, yeah, what you'll be given is this. Uh, I'll give you the link to download it in the description. You'll get all the lighting, all the objects. You'll get the spliff. You'll get the weed actual leaf itself. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the tutorial. What you want to do first is select the leaf itself and you want to duplicate it. Let's put Control C, Control V. And then you want to you want to make it so it's behind the actual first one. So you want to move it back about halfway, and then you want to change the movement to about uh, say say 60. And then you want to move it forward again. Once you've done that, you want to add caps, and then you want to fill it cap. And then fill it cap again, and then you'll select steps to radius six, uh, two six, and it should look like this. And once you've got that, I'll include the materials in the description. I mean, in the file as well. So you want to go to Chrome and you want to drag that on the back one. Okay, so once you've got that, you want to uh, select them both. And you want to go to 90 frames. Well, first of all, you want to turn keyframing on. Yep, go to 90 frames and keyframe both of them. I don't know what that keyframe is doing there. And then go to zero and go to the first one, or the bottom one, really. Actually, go to, uh, before you do any of that, go to objects, null. And then I'll place this in the middle. And then you want to duplicate it, make another one, drag them in there. Now you want to do it. You want to you want to go to ninety frames again. Whoops. Okay, so drag them in. Ninety frames. You want to keyframe it. Why is that moving? Oh yeah, you have to select both. Go to 90 frames, keyframe that. And then you want to go to... It's going to do that because I've already keyframe on at zero. And then you want to go to the bottom one. And then you want to put it here. And then you want to you want to go to the... Uh, f where you can see all the angles. Drag it forward. And then go to this one. Go to the rotation tool. And then you want to rotate it forward like that. And if you play it, you will see it coming in. And then you'll go to the back one. Does it go to frame zero? Uh, it depends where you want it, really. You can have it so it comes out, I don't know, like up here. Or you can have it so it comes underneath. It's really, it's really up to you. But uh, I'm going to have it so it comes from the bottom. So you drag it down and back a bit. And then what you want to do is rotation tool. And then you want to rotate it. You can rotate it either way, but I'm going to rotate it back. And then if we play. Two of them come together nicely. Like that. Um, you can make it bigger if you want. You, can, you don't have to go to 90 frames, but it's really up to you. Um, next is text. This is it's not too hard, but if you follow what I do, then it should be all right. Uh, you want to go to MoGraph, Mo Text. Actually, you want to turn keyframing off first. Okay, so uh, drag it in front of the uh, of the leaf. Or wherever you want it really and um, go to the text and call it whatever just call it 
actually I call it tutorial for tutorial purposes there we go and then you want to choose a decent font just choose uh, choose the one we had last time have a doom like that if you want to bring it forward because you need to duplicate it okay now duplicate that text layer you've just made highlight both and go to uh, depth and you want to change it to about 111 sounds like a good number and then once you've got to go to the top text and you want to make the depth to about say 70 and then as you can see here it's gone to about half well two thirds of the way down you want to drag it back so it's in the middle so you'll probably know this if you already do 3d text and then go to caps fill it cap fill it cap again and 6262 six and then you want to drag that chrome material we've used before onto that layer and then if you've got a black here's a black you want to put it on the layer that you've just done before so if you render that out it looks quite nice so far but the text hasn't got any keyframing on so what you can do is um, from 90 frames you want to keyframe you want to click both of them and then you want to click actually yeah let's make some null objects first them in the middle copy that object and then you'll drag them into each null object so for the first null object you want to keyframe at 90, fr 90 uh, frames turn keyframing on and you want to also do that with the second one and then you want to go to about 170 which is say 180 and uh, you want to keyframe it again and then go back to 90 I know it's probably not the easiest way to do it but I'm just doing it off the top of my head uh, and then go to the rotation tool rotate it forward a bit and then move it forward and then with the other one uh, drag it straight down like I said, you can come from the side or you can come from above. It's actually I'm going to come from above because I've already done one from the uh, from the bottom. So you want to drag it up. And then you want to uh, rotation tool it, and then you want to drag it forward. Then hopefully the text should come together. As you can see, they come together quite nicely. Um, the other text did have like they came in separately like T-U, T-O like one at a time but if you want to see that I'll probably do it in a different tutorial but it's simply a matter of making more null objects and keyframe them at different different uh, times so uh, that's how to do the basic one where you the leaf comes in and then it says tutorial ok so now we're going to keyframe the uh, the spliff that comes in so as soon as these come in it's at 170 so yeah you want to go to 170 you want to select the actual uh, spliff itself just delete these key frames real quick uh, delete this ok so you want to 170 and then you want to keyframe that and then you want to go to 200 and you want to keyframe that so once you got to 170 no you want to go 200 sorry and you want to bring you can probably see it on a different angle it's better and easier you want to bring it in to the location where you want to place it so I'm just going to do, I'm going to bring it here where I did last time just for tutorial purposes and um, hopefully this should come in yep. so this is what it looked like all together so 
So yeah, hopefully that's what you guys wanted, and um, uh, the After Effects tutorial will be in part two. Uh, I'm going to create this now, but it will probably be uploaded in a few days, so uh, definitely look out for that, and uh, thank you for watching this video. The uh, download link to the file will be in the description, don't forget, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.